All right, guys, I'm going to take you through a simple five-minute warm-up routine that you can do before each run. So we're going to start off marching on the spot, bringing the knees nice and high, swinging the arms. So the purpose of the warm-up is to increase the metabolic activity in the muscles, and we do that through actually contracting the muscles. So static stretching isn't going to provide any benefit. We want to make sure that we increase the heart rate. We work each joint through their range of motion, and then we're also getting you prepared for your run. Once we finish marching on the spot, we're going to go into lunges. So we're going to step one leg forward, drop the back leg down, knee comes over the toes, push back up. Step forward, knee down, pushing back up. So just start off nice and easy, and then we increase the range as we feel like we're warming up. Good, so opening up the hips here, warming up the ankles, and also the knee joint down driving back up so leaning into that front leg pushing off good down three two and one okay now standing we're going to go up onto our toes and then up onto our heels so warming up the calf complex and the tibialis anterior so the calf muscles combined will take up to 11 times of body weight and force so it's important that we warm these muscles up before we run. Good. We're just doing 30 seconds on each exercise. That's it. Good. So heels up, down, toes up. So from the side, heels up, toes up. Knees nice and straight. Five, four, good. Three, two, and one. With your band, we're going to take the band, place it around the feet, stand up nice and tall, knees slightly bent, and then we're going to step to the side. So warming up the hip abductors in this one, essential muscle group for running. So as we strike the ground, that initial contact phase, those hip abductors are going to help control the hip. Okay, good. So driving off the leg here, push, push, avoid the shoulders moving side to side, keep them nice and still. So it's all coming from the hips. Last 10 seconds. Good. And relax, excellent. Okay, pop the band to the side. Next thing we're gonna do is toe tap. So up nice and tall, heels off the ground, toe up, toe down. Okay, turning around, so that's toe up, it's all about timing in this one, toe down, toe down, create that sound, toe up, toe down, good. And again, and turning around. Okay, now we're gonna bring that same kind of technique into pogo hops. So as we push down, pushing down, toes come up towards you. So you push down, toes up. Heel off the ground, don't let the knees bend. We don't want it to be soft, we want it to be springy. Toes up, good. Five seconds left. And rest. Okay, shaking out the legs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that once through again, a little bit more intensity into this one. Just a quick one to interrupt the warm-up, guys. Please like and subscribe. If you do that, it'll really help the channel. I'm going to have weekly videos that's going to help you. So let's get back into it. So starting off, we're going to come into lunges down. Push up. Push up. Good. So a little bit shorter on the second round. We're just going to go for 15 seconds. In three, two, and one. Excellent. Now heel, toes. Up, a little bit quicker on this one. That's it. Heart rate should be coming up now. Getting you ready for your run. Good. Last five seconds. And then we're into toe taps. So alternating. Turning around. Good, toe up, toe down. Practice this one throughout your week. As you get better at it, it'll really help with your pogo hops. Good. 
and relax okay into pogo hop so the purpose of this is to improve the stiffness between the calf and the achilles to make you more efficient when you run so it helps reduce injuries and also will help improve your performance hands and hips five seconds four three two and one and relax okay grab the band place the band around the feet and here nice and quick step 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 good five four three two and one okay and then just jogging in the spot hands up knees up nice and relaxed good relax those shoulders up nice and tall five four three two one and relax okay you're done so we've increased our heart rate we've worked each joint we've worked on improving that stiffness between the calf and the achilles tendon that's going to help with performance so a great routine for you to do before each run if you're going for a really easy run you can also just go out start off nice and easy because that's also going to help get you warmed up and remember be grateful that we get to do it so enjoy your run